So Apple launched the iPhone 16 series this year without Apple intelligence and Google launched the Pixel 9 series this year without Android 15. And you know what? We already have FunTouch OS 15 based on Android 15 installed on this Vivo X100 Pro. 2024 has been a weird year as far as software updates are concerned and definitely Vivo is at the forefront of giving updates. Now what we're going to be doing is talking about the new features of FunTouch OS 15, comparing it against uh, FunTouch OS 14 and looking out for bugs if there are any. Also more importantly, whether you should be hitting on that update button right now if you have a Vivo phone or not. All right, if you're here for the first time, I'm Aishar. You're watching Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now, if you have a Vivo phone or an iQOO phone running FunTouch OS 14 right now, that update should be reaching you really soon if it hasn't already yet. Now, if it hasn't hit your device yet, you can actually try the trial version. It's available on the Vivo X100 series. It's available on the V series as well. And of course, the iQOO 12. Now, if you want to know if your Vivo or iQOO device supports FunTouch OS 15 right now, take a look at this handy chart. You should have your answer. Now, when compared to FunTouch OS 14, FunTouch OS 15 visually is not too different, but there are some subtle changes and some subtle customization options that you get, which will of course enhance your experience. For example, the lock screen is customizable now. You can change and customize the left and right shortcuts and you can pick from nine different apps. In fact, you can even change the fonts and the color of the clock. But you know what? I think Vivo missed the trick here. You should be able to customize the lock screen directly from the lock screen itself, which you cannot do. You actually have to head into the settings app. Now, we also noticed that there are a few new AOD styles introduced with FunTouch OS 15 on the X100 Pro, but some of these AOD styles are already available with FunTouch OS 14 on iQOO 12. Now the home screen itself has not changed much, but the home screen customization tray is slightly more functional now. You can actually see where you can put the icons and there is a skeleton UI for different pages with the exact icon layout. Also the customizations options that you can see, the rows, they actually look cleaner now. There are also a set of new live and static wallpapers that we noticed and you can set any video as your wallpaper from the album app to your home and lock screen. But know that you cannot actually use the entire video as your wallpaper, only about 10 seconds of it, but that's to be expected. On the home screen, you can also hide the icon labels for a cleaner look. There's also a new icon pack called Exquisite, which personally is not very exquisite, if you ask me. You can also now create large folders on the home screen that a lot of other brands have already provided in their softwares. Also, there are a few new clock widgets that have been imported from Origin OS, but this is probably about the only similarity that we noticed with Origin OS, but at least Vivo is heading in that direction. Now, one visual change that I noticed is that the settings app is much better organized compared to FunTouch OS 14 now. For example, Vivo has taken out the Wi-Fi and mobile data network settings outside and put it in the main options itself, which is directly accessible now. Vivo has also implemented a fuzzy search in settings app and it works better than search on FunTouch OS 14. So instead of giving exact results that you've searched for, it gives you even similar results. The manage storage option under RAM and storage, the design has gotten an overhaul. Now it directs you to the super cleanup and it helps you visualize what to keep and what to remove. Previously, it only showed you downloaded files and infrequently used apps. Oh, by the way, for the fingerprint animation fans, there are four new fingerprint animations now. Vivo has also added a new natural light dynamic effect on the X100 Pro. But again, this was already present on the Vivo V40 Pro running FunTouch OS 14. In fact, it's also true for a few AI features which are already available on FunTouch OS 14 but it seems like it's new on FunTouch OS 15. Now, before I talk about the system features and if the animations are smooth or not, because that is very, very important, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that is also very, very important. You guys watch our videos in lakhs, but subscribe only in thousands. So go ahead, change that metric a little bit, help us out. Now, just like FunTouch OS 14, if you want to enter into a split screen mode, all you need to do is swipe up from any supported app. Now, once you've put two apps in split screen mode, you can use the three dots in the middle, not just to increase or decrease the size of the window, but also to swap the apps and to create an app pair. Now, when there are two apps in split screen, you can simply, you know, long press and swipe out of the split screen to actually create a floating window. And once you've created the floating window, you can actually sort of drag it out and create a small floating icon if you want to minimize the app. In fact, you can create multiple such small minimized icons uh, and we try that out and it works really well. But this floating window turned into small icons is kind of weird because you can actually already do that in the smart sidebar. And the smart sidebar has also received an update. So Vivo has integrated screen translation with the help of Google Lens now and it can translate anything that is present on your screen. Now, if you want to enter split screen mode, you have to swipe up with three fingers. But if you want to take a screenshot, you swipe down with three fingers. We already know that. But now there's one extra screenshot 
shortcut method that Vivo has added. Basically, you can hold down three fingers on the screen and then swipe down to just take a screenshot of the region you've selected. Apart from that, unlike Funtouch OS 14, there are a ton of screenshot editing tools now, like Mosaic, where you can blur and distort any part of the screenshot. There's also a dedicated text tool, and you can also tap advanced editing options to edit images from the Albums app, just like Funtouch OS 14. The screen recorder function has also received a huge update. Now you can not only record screens, but you can also record audio from the microphone and the system at the same time. You can also write text on the screen while recording it, which is pretty impressive. Ultra Game Mode has also added the functionality to adjust the screen refresh rate and touch sampling rate according to your liking. Also, if you're somebody who likes using Vivo's Notes app, then you can now export notes in Microsoft Word format for easier sharing. All right, now let's talk about the security features and Android 15's security features is the first thing that we need to talk about. Android 15 security and privacy features like partial screen sharing and optimized permission settings are now available with Funtouch OS 15. Now, when you're screen mirroring your phone in third-party apps, then you have the option to just share the single app or to actually share the entire screen. There are also meeting screen shared privacy features like notification protection and status bar protection. The optimized permission settings work really well as they restrict certain permissions for the apps that are side-loaded. You can also allow these permissions back whenever you want to. Vivo's also added a live transcribe feature that simply transcribes what you speak in different languages. There's one very interesting thing that I noticed is sound notifications, which will notify if your phone hears certain sounds. For example, fire alarms or your ringing doorbell. But yeah, enabling this means that your phone is listening to your surrounding all the time which is not very secure and private, if you ask me. Now, unlike other brands which have gone completely gung-ho on AI, Vivo's Funtouch OS 15 is still a little subtle with the AI features. There are not too many features that have been added. For example, you've got AI photo enhancement, AI eraser, and optimized AI tagging. And all these features are already available on many Vivo and iQOO phones that are running Funtouch OS 14. But there are two new features that we noticed, and that is cleanup suggestion. Essentially, this feature helps you remove duplicate photos and old screenshots, which I find very, very useful. Now, you must have noticed one thing while taking photos of documents, it creates shadows. Well, there's a shadow removal AI tool as well, which is damn useful for students for sure. Now that's about it for the AI features. But one thing we noticed with uh, Funtouch OS 15 on the Vivo X100 Pro is that Vivo X100 Ultra's camera feature has been ported here. That is the humanistic camera mode. And it obviously works really well. But I don't know if the same feature will be given to all other Vivo phones. I think it's limited to the X100 series. All right, finally, to talk about the smoothness of the animations and the UI. It's pretty damn smooth now. I mean, it was already smooth in Funtouch OS 14, but uh, Vivo has actually engineered it to be even more smoother. Especially when you slide down that control center, you can actually see the difference in smoothness for yourself. Vivo has also added a smart scheduling algorithm and a sleep optimization feature, but you cannot really see these features in action because they happen in the background. And the sleep optimization feature itself is already available on the V40 Pro with Funtouch OS 14, not Funtouch OS 15, by the way. Also, Oxygen OS 14 introduced this feature where you could link to Windows from within the settings app and you didn't need to actually download the Windows link app from the place Store, well, that's available on Funtouch OS 15 as well. And this linking to Windows feature has been, you know, integrated in OnePlus, Samsung, now Vivo, but Google hasn't done it yet. They should, but I think they might not because Google and Microsoft are competitors. All right, now to answer the most important question, should you hit that update button when it reaches you? At least as far as our testing goes, we didn't face any major bugs, but there was this minor little bug where the home screen restarted itself when we unlocked the device, but it happened once and never again. And as far as our track record of using Vivo devices goes, updates have generally been more stable and they don't generally break devices or, you know, kill motherboards. I'll still say you might want to hold off on the update a little bit, check out Twitter reactions to see how people are responding to the update and, you know, what user experience they've been facing so that you can take a final call accordingly. Now, as for the Funtouch OS 15 update itself, visually, it's not like a drastic change from Funtouch OS 14, but there are a whole lot of subtle changes that Vivo has made that we really appreciate. And I think, again, it's another step in the right direction. And it's going closer to the experience of Origin OS in China. All right, what do you guys think of Funtouch OS 15? Let me know in the comment section below. And yes, we're working on videos on other software updates as well. So we're talking about uh, Nothing OS 3, Oxygen OS 15, Realme UI, uh, One UI 7 when it hits. I'm really excited for that one. So yeah, stay subscribed. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.